kubor kabati si TV. Lawan rasa pi tak ke Frank Motors. I am Tata Punch. Price starting at 5.80 lakhs. Ringkat bat ke net foodish. Or darma pi ngin wan ra amangi hakir dob yeng jong pi. U menteri rang bak kecil laut u kondrat kongkel sang ma. U la ong bak ke jingpen pena jong ke sorkar halor ke CRPC bat ke CPC. Kim lakman penyap iki kendon jong ke riti sensyar ke belapun ke bor limba ke kernet ke bahan riu. U la ong bak ke riti sensyar ke kam klan ban ya ke an. Kom ta ke lai bor hak ke para fu bat faif ya u lat kecil la bu untung ya u nong bisyar. Haka yeng bisyar ke district council bat kam la ban yap haka jing penbana jong ke sorkar ya ke CRPC bat CPC. Kani ke jing keren jong konrat ke day hadian balami ke jing persya ya ke kasi health autonomous district council halor ke tege jing penbana jong ke sorkar. This basic decision that has been made by the government to come out with this notification has been done purely to complete the process of segregation between the executive and the judiciary. In the beginning, the, when the executive and judiciary were together, the ADC in charge of judiciary used to act as the judge in a district court. And hence, the powers were derived from a 1937 law or rule that was passed, which mentioned that the DCs will act as judges. And hence, all the powers that the ADC judiciary drew was based on that particular 1937 law. Now, when the decision was made to bifurcate the ADC uh, the, uh, or se segregate the judiciary from the executive, we appointed judicial magistrates. The 1937 law does not mention anything about a judicial magistrate. But the segregation has taken place so the ADC judiciary ceases to exist. And hence now we have what we call the judicial magistrates. The question arises that how or from where does the ADC, uh, the judicial magistrate draw their powers from? It's as simple as that. And hence, in order to allow the, A the judicial magistrate to continue what the ADC judicial was doing, this notification had to be done. So my point being that the sole purpose of coming up with this notification is only to allow the judicial magistrate after the segregation process to now exercise the powers and do the job that the ADC judiciary was doing before. And hence this notification has come out. It in no way impacts the functioning of the, ADC, uh, of the district councils and in no way uh, is going to over uh, uh, take their power. If tomorrow is there any complication or confusion that arises in case, which I'm pretty sure it will not. In that case, the district councils can easily go to court and the section 4 and para 4 and para 5 of the 6th schedule clearly defines the powers that the district council courts have. And hence, even if this notification were to be misread in by somebody else in the future, the constitutional protection is there, which is fully there with the district councils. And hence, there is no question of any kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, interference or any kind of overlapping uh, or getting into the jurisdiction of the AD, of the district council courts and they will function as they were functioning before and now the judicial magistrates will simply take over the work that was being done by the ADC judiciary and this had to be done because now the ADC judiciaries don't exist it's the judicial magistrates and since they don't have powers they can withdraw draw from the 1937 law and hence this notification is required to ensure that the the district session courts can function and the judicial magistrates can exercise their powers. So it's a very simple thing. We have called the district councils, uh, you know, a couple of times. And once I have chaired the meeting myself and we have shared these concerns and points with them and they have understood the whole point. So now the question of, uh, you know, them mentioning about notification of exemption and all, it's already is exempted. There's no need for it to say and the constitution gives ample protection to the to the district council courts and hence uh, there is nothing to be worried and nothing to be concerned about as i said the objective of this notification is mainly and solely to ensure that the judicial magistrates under the district sessions courts can exercise their power
and it will not affect the powers of the district council. But that is not uh, my uh, my area uh, of uh, you know to respond to that. Uh, I'm sure that uh, they have understood. I think they just want the notification to be slightly more clearer, so that tomorrow nobody uses this notification and tries to encroach into their power. I think that's what the concern of the district council is. But my reply to that is that, see, notifications, we can keep changing the words and keep changing and adding to it. But the, ultimately, the biggest protection that they have is the constitution and the sixth schedule itself. And para four and five have defined the powers in that, and they derive the powers from that. And hence, there's no question of a, one notification of government of Meghalaya overruling the entire uh, constitutional provisions. And hence, we can keep making this notification better, but it's it's at 99%, for example, and they want it to be 100%. So I understand their concerns, but let me give the assurance to everybody that uh, with this notification, there'll be no question of any kind of encroachment or interference into the functioning of the courts that are run by the district council. But it prevails over the state laws. So the constitution has clearly mandated uh, in paragraph 4 and 5, which I'm repeating, uh, to give the certain uh, powers. The governor has the powers to give this, I mean, to appoint judges in the district council or other judges and give them the necessary powers. And that cannot be superseded by a notification done by the government of Meghalaya. The constitution will always prevail. Since 2014, our country has been plagued by divisive forces. The MC is in Meghalaya with the mission to empower the people, uphold the ethnic cultures and traditions, celebrate the sacred land. To oust the proxy BJP government from Meghalaya, be the change, support TMC by calling on 96877 96877.